10, call meeting to order. Adjustments to the agenda. No, there's nothing really there. Um, no. Nothing in everything, right? Right. Um, no public comment, obviously. Um, approving the minutes from 316. I wonder if we can pull it up. If you sent it out to us, we probably could get it on. Let me look on my Gmail. I don't understand. So they were posted, you said? I thought so. to know if there's a meeting tonight and if it's at 6.30. Come on down. Probably beat Heather. I never know if people like get my emails because I messaged earlier today saying, is everyone coming to the meeting? <clears throat> I'm just going to have to think he's with us and just look through them. That's what I'm saying, is I feel like I need to read them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so what are we going to do when we look through these? I guess just see what they are. And then? If you got any comments or questions, I would ju I'm just going to write it on on the front of them, because I've already seen some stuff in there that I've got questions on. Yeah, and I think that and one I of my questions, I guess maybe we could, I don't know if this falls under applications and surveys, is that, you know, it's within our purview here to ask people who have made requests, you know, to come in and talk more to us about it. So after we review it, if we have questions, mm -hmm. say, hey, maybe Fiber come down and talk to, to us. I have no desire to talk to the Fiber people. Um, as far as I know, the select board's already spoken with them. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the ones who make this decision, not me. So they, the select board has asked this committee to make recommendations. We can't just say it's up to the select board. The select board wants us to take this responsibility. They, that's what we've been charged with. So we have to get ourselves educated, and we need to know about it, and we need to have a reason why we're approving or not approving. Um, I'm not approving so. anything. I will absolutely abstain from making any recommendations on how the select board chooses to spend this money. They asked us to gather the information. They asked us to provide them the information, and I'm happy to do that, but I have no recommendation on how they choose to spend this money. So my understanding of what the select board charged us with was to educate the community, mm -hmm. to disseminate the um, applications, mm -hmm. to collect them and figure out which of these falls under the ones that the community is interested in, and used to be the ones that fell under the guidelines, but that's we don't have guidelines anymore. So that's, as far as I know, I mean, I've spoken with Peter, I, I talked to Mike back when he was on the select board. They're expecting us to pass over, these are the ones we think are the best applications based on what the community wants and what we think is a good use of the money based on our education of, of how the funds should be spent. So they are looking for us to do that. Whether we're comfortable or not doing that, I don't. I don't know what to to say about that. But they that was my and you can speak with the select board yourself if you want to. But that was my I have no desire to do that either. I've gathered the information. We can provide them with it if they have questions about what people want to do with the money. That's totally up to them. Um, if you want to meet again and discuss it further, go for it. Yeah, I mean, I I guess I'm wondering what you feel like our role is right now. We've done our role. Okay, because that, that's not, I mean, they, as far as... I have no recommendations. I have no, we have a list here of, you know, $530,000 that people want to spend the money on. Mm -hmm. And um, out of these choices, I can't say what the town should do with it. This is what the people want. These are the applications that are here. And they can make a decision based on that information. 
I don't need to recommend anything. Okay, well that's, I don't know what to do with this. I'm not sure where we go with this, and we don't have everybody here, so maybe we can talk to Retta, but um, if part of our group doesn't want to continue with the job that I believe that we've been taxed with, I don't know what we do as a group. As I said, I think I've completed our task, but if you want to continue and meet with people, you should feel free. Yeah, I mean, I can't single-handedly, we're a group, so I can't, I can't really make that decision myself. I'm just going on what the select board has told me they were hoping for our group to do, to gather information, to, um, you know, kind of coalesce the what we gather from the community with the applications that came in and then give them recommendations and then they can take or leave them. Um, but but we're, we also have to review the applications. That's part of our reviewing the applications, not just handing over. Like, for instance, there's a question here. Okay, this is, it's, and I want the answer to it. They want $50,000 for the high speed internet. This is just a question. Which is going to be matched by the state or by part of the state government for another? So they're actually going to have $100,000. Well, I know, talking to the cable people, that internet. It's roughly a million dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to spend fifty thousand dollars of our ARPA money. They're going to get a hundred thousand dollars if they choose to do this internet, this high-speed internet. Who's going to choose where they're going to spend? It says so in there. Uh, it would reduce the cost for Woodbury residents to connect to the new fiber network, and they'd work with the select board to determine how those funds would be distributed to support individual residents. Correct. It's but, up to the select board, not but us. Before we say, yeah, we're, we're good with that application, where are you going to, why is it up to the select board to say, um, we're going to run it up, you know, Dog Pond Road? It's like, well, why are you running it up Dog Pond Road? Right. Why are you running up this road? Right. It's up to us to review that and say, we don't agree. Number one, the cable thing, the internet thing, is a farce to spend any money of our ARPA money on that because the state and the government has already approved money and it is coming through. We got a certain people that <coughs> just want to do a certain percentage of cable maybe so they have it at their house. I want to know. Well, the Woodbury Planning Convention put in the application for it, so Correct. I don't know what to tell you. Well, That's the you don't, but I want to know from the them. Money. So we're going to basically, we're going to review that application. I want to know from them, you're going to spend $100,000. Where are you going to spend it? They can't tell you. That is up to the select board to determine. That's I'm what a taxpayer. Says. They can tell me. And, and they have come to a select board meeting. Correct. Yeah, I think you were there with me at that Correct. select board meeting. I Correct. thought it was very interesting. Um, right. And I had a lot of questions for them. But no, there is many questions. Um, just because we're part of the ARPA fund doesn't mean that we hand these applications over to them and say, basically, do what you want. Because we still have, that's why we're here and that's why we were chosen for this board, was to make sure this money, if it gets in, when it gets spent, is in the right places. No, that is not my job. That it is, is not our job to, to recommend determine. what the people want. There it is. That's what the people want. Did you? Would you? And have I think it says high speed broadband is like one of the top ones. So do you go with what the people Correct. want or your recommendation? It's not my recommendation. It's what the state is spending money on. Why are we spending our ARPA money on something the state is going to upgrade? Where are you spending a hundred thousand dollars on a million dollars a month? Tara, I have a I want to know. clarifying question just about mm. the process. Um, would you have felt differently about the next step that we were in here if the guidelines were still there from the, because because when we started out, there were stringent ARPA guidelines, yep. and our job was to interpret the applications through the ARPA guidelines yes. and let them know which one of the, ones of these met those. So are you feeling a, a sort of a shift in your feeling about our job based on the fact that we don't have those guidelines now? I do in part, and also in the fact that you have committee members and other committee members on opposing sides of just one funding issue. 
I don't I don't have any thoughts about broadband. I'm sorry. He yeah. did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's not. We have committee members, That's you know, who feel here. differently. That's why we're. And here it's to not up this. to me to determine which committee is right. It's not. It's up to the select right. board, and I don't want to get into it. I've done my job. So what you want? You want to back out? You're done. No, I don't want to back out. If you say we have to keep going, I'll keep going. But I don't see what else there is for We're us to glean out of this. We're still supposed to review these applications. Okay. And there's going to be questions on them. Like, I just use that as an example. There's a question. Well, I answered it. The select board gets to decide. So I think in my speaking with Peter Peltz, who is the head of the select board, and I don't want to speak for you, Peter. You can, you can speak for yourself. But my understanding was that they have a lot they're doing and yeah. they're looking for some help and that's why committees are formed so that they that they can kind of say here you do a little bit of this legwork and come back with a, some information for us and do some information gathering and so they've asked us to do this and so I'm kind of feeling like you know I don't want to just say here they are all right so we have five hundred and thirty thousand dollars being asked for in this round Supposedly, we're supposed to have another and another year of requests, but I don't think that's going to happen unless they deny a chunk of these. We can go through and knock some of these out right now. Two hundred grand for Peter Palmer for road com for road stuff. That's in the regular budget. Boom, that one's gone. Correct. Exactly. Okay. So look, before we do that, can I go over the surveys and then we can just sort of know in our mind what the town has said that are their priorities, and then we can kind of use that as we're going through. I, I, I would need to read these. Like, I'm gonna, it would take me a little bit of time to actually mm -hmm. read through these. I don't feel like I can just um, skim. But, um, so the, the highest one was roads. With, so, so let me just say what I did. Mm -hmm. um, so each of these are the uh, sort of summary of the questions on the left. And then the next is one through ten. Uh, one through ten of how people rated their top things. Um, so then, so then I total some. You know, some thing, Some items did not get addressed by people because they didn't think it was important. So they didn't even put it on a one to ten because there were thirteen items. So they didn't. Some some items didn't get a, the full. Um, you know, not, no item got a full fifty one votes. Hello, welcome back, gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good, I guess. <clears throat> nope. That is survey results, and I have the actual surveys if anyone wants to look at them. Um, and then, so we just, I was just going over this, the survey mm -hmm. results. So, um, like I said, down this line is the questions or the options. Over here is how many votes, first people put it as their first vote, as their second, as their third, as their fourth, tenth. Um, and then I totaled how many votes total each one of these op items got. And then how many of them got a one through three score? So what, how many of these were on the top of people's list, one through three? Um, and we can, you know, you can maneuver these numbers in many different ways. It's just the way I thought was interesting to me. Um, so I think of note, broadband got 38 total votes, which is the most that people put as one through ten on their list and scored 20 for the top three so 20 people scored broadband as their top three items of uh, how they want our money spent um and just to let you know we got 51 re replies to the survey roads were second so 36 people put it in their one to ten and 20, or maybe you could say it actually is first, because 21 people put it in their one to three favorites. Um, so those were, those were the kind of things that jumped out at me. Um, ones that 
were low hazard mitigation, I gotta say, a lot of people didn't respond to hazard mitigation, and I think some people put a question mark there. I think people didn't know what hazard, hazard mitigation meant. So I think we could have probably defined that better for our survey, but, um, and flood mitigation was low. Um, and COVID vaccination, et cetera, was low. Of course, it's a volunteer study. It's really not a statistical representation thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all we got right now. Oh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I do think that, you know, <clears throat> I think the hazard mitigation one that people, if people, if we said, would you like to sort of help out people that were first line defensors, and people might have mm. answered a little differently, but that's my opinion, that's entirely opinion. Um, histor uh, historical, preserving important historical cultural resources was low. 28 people voted on it, only eight put it on there, one to three. And uh, the, wa the wastewater was kind of low with only 29 responses and six in the one to three. So anyway, those, I thought that was kind of interesting. I spent a couple hours crunching these well, and putting it all together. And pretty I, cool how you yeah, the, compiled numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see numbers. I agree with you that 50 is not a representative of the entire town, but everybody had a chance. It was That's mailed right. to every single residence. And so, um, you know, it was easy to get in if you wanted to be part of it. So, so that's that. And then Tara made copies for us of the applications that came in. And none of us have ever really had much of a chance to review them. Um, and then some, we had some conversation about kind of what our next steps are, if there are any. Tara was sort of feeling like we just hand this, these over to the select board and let them decide, which I think I think I, I think I understand why you feel that way um, because it is a bit overwhelming to and I, I mentioned it's I mentioned not overwhelming. this overwhelming I don't find the prospect of talking to and gathering more information if they need details overwhelming maybe that's just how I feel because <clears throat> um, I didn't mention that when when the ARPA guidelines kind of fell away I called the select board folks and said so what is our next step? If we're not trying to interpret this through the lens of the guidelines, what, why, why is our opinion any different than just anyone else's opinion off the street kind of thing? Um, and to they me, said, it's keep very, going. It's very cut and dry. Yeah. You know, if you're looking at this front list that I gave you, you have three items here that are 50, 190, and 200,000. One is to hire new road crew people for 200 grand. One is to resurface for almost 200 grand the elementary road from here to Route 14. And one's 50 grand for high speed internet, which some people have already expressed an opinion about. If you knocked out those three, we go from 530,000 to almost 90,000, which is under what we've received so far this year, except for what's been spent. So, no, no, that includes what's been spent so far. So, we can make this very simple. Here are the applications that we think would go forward, that you could do something with, and these are the ones we don't. Hiring people, that comes out of the budget. Resurfacing the road, I guess, is what, a tenth of a mile for 200 grand? Maybe they could work that into something else, I don't know. And the high speed internet, yeah, the people out. think it's important, and I don't know. That's up to them. So that's where I am at the moment. Some of these are okay. Some of these are, there's no way we can do it. So I would say, like, for example, the Peter Palmer's request for 200000 that is not a full application to me. No, it's not. So I would not actually consider that. Great. I also don't consider Judith Manning's, Philip Lee Holes, Jane's. They give no amounts. Right. Harry Daly, no amounts. So if there's no amounts, there's nothing to consider. Right. I think that sometimes people are just saying, um, it's more They're of a voice of opinion. Than yeah, is and, and I get it. Putting good money into road crew is important, but they need to vote on that in the budget. Exactly. That's so are there deadlines on submission of these the requests? Uh, was the second 
May 2nd. And I don't see the fire departments here. No, um, I thought we were supposed to get a new application. Well, I can see that we got one. Um, oh, could you let her in, please? Definitely be considered oh, part of this. I'm sorry? I said they definitely should be considered part of this. So. Yes. So that's another $110,000. Well, that's it's, what they're asking it's, for. It's, it's a grant. They're, they're asking for a grant, and the select board can decide we're going to give them, as you do with most grants, you always, here's what our wish list is, but you get half or you get a third. Okay. And that's what that would look like. I would think that's the select board has So again, it, so. I have no desire to make a recommendation. Yeah, you mean to the select board? Yep. Yeah, me and you guys. Just so as long as we're if they're on the list, that's fine. If yeah. we use the application that they already put in, great. I can get yeah. that in there, add it into yeah. the totals, and it'd be up to them. Correct. I just want it there. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> After that's off, we can talk more about it. <clears throat> oh, I'm that sorry. The still day results. Are you okay? Did you look? Hello. Uh, I'm work too. Right? What? Mm. What'd you do? Oh. I'm getting old. <laughs> and I, yeah, no, I'm just working. So, yeah, I'm going to put in a note here, put in the fire department. Well, I know that somewhere. I can so, find so that. Yeah. For me, being missing is just hard work in a way. <laughs> I'm sorry? I said, this is great work for me, but for me, being missing is just hard It's all good. Yes, it is. That's where we're going to just, just talk about some of that stuff. That's how much has been requested so far? Yeah. And we're getting how much? $230. So, so just to put that into perspective, there's some applications here that don't appear to me to be legitimate applications. So I don't think that that's really the amount. Because it, even like Gary H. Smith, taxpayer, I mean, you have to have an application plus a plan. Like some of them have actual, you know, plans. plans. This is, I would say, Try again if you really want to put an application what? in, but that's no that's, that's not. Oh yeah. yeah. So, so I think we can look at the money a little differently. If so you want to write down a different number, underneath that, um, if you take out those three, the fifty, one ninety, and two hundred, that's brand new. That's eighty nine thousand three hundred ninety four. Perfect. You get it. But we also have the fire department yeah. that yep. isn't here. That was a hundred and eleven. So again, yeah. you know that's completely way too much for me to try to make a recommendation on to the right. select board that is up to them. Yeah, I don't want to, I mean, how do you pick and you choose? You, since we have no authority to do so, I'm perfectly willing to say, here you go. Yep. Let them do it. Like you said, there's some here that just aren't applications, full applications like we're looking for. It's hard to consider something, you know, when it's so what application are you on? We're not. We're just kind of, we didn't go we're through. Lost. So there was a couple in, in here that I was just saying, like Peter Palmer's application for 200000 for help for the road crew. Like, I'm all for helping the, with the roads, but that without a plan and some way of implementing it, I don't. What's 190000 We should have access to Winter Elementary for Move 14? Yep. No. So, I mean, I, th I think that we can, we can just tell. Those just they're just not complete applications, right? There's not a plan, there is no you know, a taxpayer can't just that's a great idea, mm -hmm. but that seems like it's more like that's town, in our right? Right, 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 like that should be voted on as a taxpayer through town, correct? And like how we had the pave for the quarries. I know it's not the same, but oh, I can't have such work all day today, I can't believe that because I'm right now. Um, so, as you all know, I'm walking into this 30 minutes late, so... So where we are is yes. we um, we talked a little bit about this, like, information that I amassed, and I'll just really quickly, because I, or these guys are probably bored silly with it, but down the side is the quest, the um, items yeah. from our survey. Back, food programs, right. early learning. This way is which, how many people voted it as first, oh. second, third on their opinion. Each. And then at the end, the total number of votes each item received, and then a score of one to three, which, which items here, how, how many people scored it as their top three? And that's just 
how I thought it would be interesting to look at, but people can look at that information in all sorts of ways. And then, so then a conversation ensued about what are, what are, what's our job from here? And my understanding from the select board was they wanted recommendations from us about which of these applications should be approved. But it was easier to do that when we had guidelines. And, and without the guidelines, then it's really our opinion based on what the survey results were. Um, and probably doing the homework behind figuring out how to satisfy Gary Smith's desire to have the resurfacing. Like, is that part no. of our? That's not our job. Right? I wouldn't want to do that either. I feel no. like that's too much re re research for this. But I also feel like I think it's it would be worth the roads crew knowing how much people are interested in them. Oh yeah, having some ARPA money, they could put an application in for the the next round because it really does rise to like a high desire for people, especially this time of the year. Um, but they there's no legitimate application here. I don't doesn't look like to me for roads repair. So there's a Woodbury Town Hall committee. So are we expected to go through all of these tonight and come no. up with our recommendations tonight or no. can we all take these home take and make we'll on them, them and maybe make yet. notes and maybe Correct. hire some new help? For the so my thought was that, you know, this is where I was going with it and it differed a little bit from where Tara felt she was going with it, which was I felt like that if we had questions about CV fiber, we should have them come in and talk to us. Correct. Or if we have a question for Elizabeth Stratton about, you know, the tent, tell us more about it, and then and then get educated, and then be able to pass along our our thoughts. Um, but I think Terry felt differently. You wanna? I don't want to speak for you. Uh, yeah, I felt of the opinion that you know CV power is pretty clear in their application about who was going to make the decisions and it's you know not us and that's down the road when they finally get it in here they'd work with the select board um so i, I really have a hard time you know sitting through another discussion about something that i'm not going to have any say in whatsoever down the road you know if they really want to put it in they're going to do it with or without with our or recommendation, without our recommendation. And they're going, they're going to make the ultimate decision on who gets it. Yeah. So it would not be my recommendation. If you're going to force me to rec make recommendations, I'd get rid of those three high-budget ones, throw in the rest, say, sure, go for it. And I'm done. Yay. They can go uh, ahead and decide. Which high-budget ones? Uh, the 200. The ones that have no reason. The resurfacing, the elementary road, the high-speed internet, and those without any dollar amounts. Other people uh, seem to have um, fairly well honed applications uh, with um, supporting documentation, and the select board can go through it and decide if they want to do it or not. Yeah. I mean, that's that's budget, that's taxpayers. So yeah, I mean, if we were to recommend, um, uh, it doesn't have to stay under the two hundred thirty-five thousand even over that's, that because they're going to choose it. Right, you know, exactly. They might give a little here and a little there and not the full dollar about yeah. it. Okay? Exactly. So, so for me, it's just as long as the fire department's uh, part of the packaging for the select board. I mean, unless there's something else here that you don't want to recommend on this list. I would have to look through these applications. I haven't had enough time to look through them to make it. I don't see the application. I, all I can say is that applications that don't have substantiation of the can't be considered. No, the fire department. Yep, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. That's common. So the rest of them are brandy with the ARPA funds expense to date, the OWL, That's the done. Town Hall Wi-Fi, which to me, I don't understand either. That should be coming out of town budget. But Well, they, they, have com they want to go to Comcast, I believe, um, and they want to make up the difference in the amount. But, you know, months have passed so far in this year, they can just put it into the next year's budget mm -hmm. and just do it that way. Digitizing land records, that's completely up to them. Town office insulation, completely up to them. Right. Stormwater so, abatement, that I think that's a private parcel. Uh, right. Yeah. You know this person, right? I don't. 
Ann Mary Ann May Clark. I know She's her. on your road, right down the street. Hmm. Oh, Anna May. Yes, I do know her. There's state the, the, programs for that. Right. I think it's some there ditching is. and stormwater stuff. And again, if they want to help her out or not, if we want to recommend it or not, I'm right. happy to. If we want to hone down the list a little more, I'm happy to discuss. But I don't need I to be need with the high speed these internet home. people. So Judith Manning, take one of us in the reader and write down on each one whatever questions we've got. So based on how um, those thoughts, Tara, how does, so we had sort of told folks that they could put their applications in two times. So yeah. there's the first round of applications money. and then the second. If any Do money is left. is left, right. Yeah, well, and I, and I talked with the select board and they seem to be willing to honor that they would only spend the amount that we said that would be allocated this go round, which is what the money we have. And then the second round, the you know anything anyone didn't get money the first round could then roll over their application to the second round. Okay. Um, and so, do we in that scenario continue to meet or meet again, or do they we just say, select word here's the second set of applications and like have we done our job completely at this point? Are you thinking? I guess that depends on if they dole out all the money. If they choose not to, we have to right. set up a second round of it. And what does the second round look like? More education to the people, more surveys, or just mm -hmm. helping them do paperwork, collecting Probably this all over again. Let's see we if can't people have another big mailing, though, can we? I mean, that was really expensive. That mailing was expensive. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even say that, or is that included in the ARPA? I don't think, I, we probably today. wouldn't need to do another survey and everything. We could probably just say applications are down at the town hall and people can get them. Um, because, you know, if eight people or ten people are up making applying, it doesn't make sense to mail it to every home. Um, so, um, so I don't think we would. Let's see, that. then you get down to the bottom to, I don't know if I want to say it out loud, but that's a wicked good request in my, for Elizabeth Stratton. Correct. A thousand dollars for a commercial event tent for the town to use. Like, that's a genius I idea. I think that's 4,000. Four? I thought that's that was one. Th yeah, sorry. No, that's four. Wrong, not an eight. That's a four? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bummer. Damn it. That's still like, it's bad. still a good idea, but... <laughs> but it is yeah. a really good idea for that's something that everybody can use. That's something that everybody would be right. able to have access to. I mean... I well, like the way she added the COVID benefits, too, that it was, you know... It's supposed to be for town organizations. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. Okay. Right, right. Just for town. For, but that could include the the pumpkin walk. Oh, yeah. Um, Can you come on, what can we have? Yeah. Are you guys doing the cemetery meeting tonight? No. No, are they doing the cemetery meeting? I don't know. I, 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 I don't, don't know. know. I think it's town. We're doing ARPA stuff. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's at the town hall or that's where it would be. For the yeah, sure. next building or up at the town clerk's office? Next building down here. Uh, well, we're at town hall right in town. Oh, right in right the village. Yeah, yeah. Well, there. there might or be there. Yeah. The, the white clerk. building. Or at the clerk's or office. office. Okay. Yeah. Right. Check the other Four thousand. I wish it was one thousand because that's still a good idea. I had to look at hands. That's pretty cheap. I thought the library was going to put an application in. Well, it looks like Friends of Woodbury Elementary did. Mm -hmm. 800 bucks to cover two years. And I feel like that's the stuff the money should go to. But that's my opinion. I don't I, feel like it should go to no, stormwater abatement or weatherization of the town hall. That stuff, can, they, they keep saying we can get a grant for that. Every time I walk into that town clerk's office and ask how something is being spent, it's always getting a grant. We're getting a grant for that. So why doesn't the state of Vermont have a... Okay. I passed the deadline. Okay. I don't know how you want to. Thank you for bringing it, Robin. Okay. Thank you for bringing it down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. You. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. The state of Vermont has all kinds of weatherization programs and all kinds of programs and grants and stuff. For whether it be or what, what's a would would it be worth having the, the two ladies we did the Zoom call with look at the list and say oh you can try getting money for this here and money for that there 
Because they mention a lot of other sources. But I definitely love like that, that idea. I have no idea how it would go about and that. And it seemed like they knew it. Yes, yeah, if they exactly. could go through the list, you could remove things saying, okay, you can get it right here, here, and here. And one of the ladies has gone on to another job, but one of them is still in her yeah. position, so we could definitely do that. I love that idea. Yeah. And that was something that we were thinking about when they yeah. came, well, and they, I yes. forgot about it, but yeah. just yeah. saying, hey, you know, with this, could it, are there matching grants? Are there is there other money that could be right. accessed? Right, they know that. Yeah. So yeah. that takes that research part off of us, and they knew that stuff right off the top of their heads. They could answer that stuff right away. And they kept saying, call us, call us, call us. We're I available. And I, I have to agree with Mara just in terms of that w this group here cannot possibly hash out which mm. of these things. It just, we all have different opinions and we're all entitled to our opinions right. and we don't, my opinion is no better than anyone else's here and that's why we have elected officials. So that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah, I, I heard what you said and I understand and that makes sense to me that we, yeah. I concur, Terry. Time for Laura. Check me off, too. With all of that, though, where does that, that leaves us at just handing them? Well, I, like, I, I don't mind putting this to our folks that know better, our experts, and seeing if they have any thoughts about it. I actually love that, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, because they are going to have the answers, and then we'll be able to go back to Ms. Clark or Mr. Palmer or any of mm -hmm. what what, we can't really help you, but we can help you because they can. And I'm happy. I, I'm yeah. happy to call these folks because they left their numbers and just say, "I hear you. I think you're in good company, and that a lot of people feel the same way about wanting to support the roads and all of that. But that these we can't pass these forth as as applications because they because we need people who are applying for things that have a plan in place. Yeah, because you can't just send the money. Mm -hmm. So I'll plan to call everybody that, that we have these applications on the uh, side. I wish they could have seen the good outdoor pavilions. I wish the outdoor pavilion idea could be in a tree house. Oh, yeah, have, we come, cool. have we come to consensus, consensus on those uh, daily? Manning? Huh? No, Le Lorendo. I'm looking at the oh oh. oh. Some that don't even have any. Well, yeah, Philip No, Lorendo and Jane No, Lorendo. Uh, looks like and then Jana, Judith Manning above them. Judith Manning is requesting premium pay for essential workers and full-time police officer, which is a great, but you, you would very can't sustain a, a, a police officer. There's no if we could we would have. Uh, uh, Philip Noel Lorendo is looking adequate funding for fire, recreation, sewer, disposal area, pumping slash mound, but then I run out. And Jane Noel Lorendo resurfacing, resurfaced the gym floor, fire department building development. None of which I can see, and maybe in the applications, if we fire development, building development, fire department is doing that, but also would like input on development. Right. So that's for Saturday. All right. So I never got to see the fire department application, or I, I never looked at it. I did. I did. I, I was saving it for this part of the process. <laughs> the Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Noel Lorendo just put in <clears throat> amount requested as needed. They didn't put in the actual amount mm -hmm. for either. Um, their applications look like they go into a bit of detail. Um, Elizabeth Stratton, $4,000 for the commercial event tech for town organizations. That was uh, requested through the town of Woodbury. Elizabeth Stratton requested through the Friends of Woodbury Elementary School is $800 to cover two years of lost revenue for fundraising due to COVID. And I don't think your applications are in order of courage. They were. They were. They were. And see, even the, tre the treasurer of the town's asking for a ton of money in its own. Darn, because we didn't have a, so a ten size in there. Well, one of them seems to um, overlap. 
Right, well, there's nothing the here Woodbury, about... The Woodbury Town Hall Committee, they also want to put in Wi-Fi, which I thought was on Brandy's proposal, right above uh, to the second one. The second Town one. Hall Wi-Fi, right. Someone made a comment, would it be possible to buy a historic building, rent, renovate it with townspeople willing to help, and turn it into our town library, possibly with a park or some green space nearby? Woodbury Community Library, exclamation point. Just a thought. If interested or would like to talk more, feel free to call Ben or Jess in West Woodbury. Just a thought. That was an interesting thought. Not on the survey? It was, yeah, some people wrote comments on the survey. Mm -hmm. So some people said <laughs> lots of different things, if anyone yeah, wants to. Like, they want a different library? Public Beach, people want. What is the one? What's, oh, what's Mike Gray's? Nice. What's that? 15,000, what is that? Michael Gray for the Outdoor Gathering Pavilion. That's Open it up, there's a packet in there. Treehouse and stuff. Yeah. And he has designs okay. all over there yeah. and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll I haven't it's an open that. wall pavilion. Out yeah. here. I don't know where exactly. Somewhere yeah. over there. Somewhere yeah. there's a natural, yeah. Yeah. There's a natural yeah. Yeah. very beautiful natural oh. amphitheater. It looks like another application that doesn't really have a plan. I want to look at that. Oh my god, I'm showing more. Oh, you have on the back. That's why they should have been on pages. Wait, you see the building design? That's the library application that I was wondering about. I mean, honestly, man, yeah, that's things like that is what we're supposed to be. No, I'm looking at the back. There are, they are on two pages for most of them. Which, I don't know how they ended up on one page. That's, 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 not, that, that's not an unreasonable request. I feel like one of them is to resurface the gym floor with lines for the pickleball tournament ladies. We also like some money for the fire department for station with a bigger thriving community, a larger, more efficient fire and rescue is paramount. Who wants a bigger community? We like mm -hmm. more Woodbury. Someone wrote, bigger. keep Woodbury the way it is. Please. Now, if you don't put anything into it, Woodbury does not stay the way it is. You gotta put stuff into it to keep it the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, keep my house the way it is, but I'm not gonna put a new roof on it, or <laughs> you gotta put, you have to put stuff into it. Something to keep, to keep, even to just keep it the way it is. Well, it seems to me that oh. board members need to, we just need to spend a week or two or a month with this packet. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, and you're going to hit the fire department one. You're going to copy them, or should we just? What did uh, you say you wanted to the do? The fire department one that they sent in. I'm sorry. What did you say you wanted to do with the packet? Take oh, a just look at. A month? Review it. A month or more week? I mean, okay. Always... All right. Um, I think I was just looking forward to being done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of busy. It's probably why I'm kneeling. <laughs> All right. I could, you know, to hands. me, for me to go through it tonight would be right. Right. Uh, I've, I've worked, I just put in a very long, exhausting right. day. Yeah. No worries. If we all keep it, when do we want to be back again? Do we want to give ourselves a week? Do we need more than a week? Do we need to bring my... I feel like I'm sort of now where Tara was a minute ago, where she, you know, or is, is, where, you know, are we meeting to discuss what? Where, yeah. where what is the purpose of us re-meeting? Um, Just so we can review the packets? Well, uh, but so are you... Where I said we're each going to come back to it with a different opinion on who, how to... Right. Uh, you well, know, if, the, I, if people here are saying they want CB fiber, but most people in the room don't want it, then what do we do? Right. You know what I Let mean? The select board choose. Yeah, right. I think that's what Tara So I'll, I'll just tell you where I'm at. Um, as long as the fire department is also handed to the select board when this goes, I'm, I'm fine with yep. that. Yep. I mean, we can prioritize some of these. You know, we could, you know, this pile here wasn't very specific, no dollar amounts. And we can do some of that. Because, like Tara says, the select board's going to do what the select board's going to do, right. and I don't want to stress about it. Right. Um, I just spent seven weeks trying to learn to de-stress when stress comes. Right. Um, I know your yeah, secrets, yeah. please. <laughs> I, I can, I can give questions and the camera's off. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, because I'm seriously considering just resigning, but I don't want to quit on you all either. I, I just, I can't, I can't take the stress of things in my life because mm -hmm. it harms my health. So, um, so yeah, as long as, you know, here, fire department and all of these and 
Let them so have at it. I wonder if in that when we send them all on, after having asked the folks, the two ladies, one of whoever is still in her, I think only because of the source of information that she is and that she will be able to tell us probably even quicker than Diana or anybody up at the uh, than anybody up at the town clerk's office. They'll be able to tell us more quickly where we can lead these people to their answers for their money. Yeah. Yeah. I think that should be part of the packet Whoa. we give to the select board. I think, what time. I think there's another meeting yes, coming. Yes, the cemetery committee has arrived. Uh -oh. right. so we're we're, we're scheduled to be done at 7. If I know. You're, you're we'll welcome we'll to join us. We'll bury you if you're not at <laughs> 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 right. um, So if you don't mind, because you're the most contact yeah, I don't mind. to those people, and they can figure out where we can send some of these more miscellaneous people and how they can get the money for what they want. Because there's some that we just can't even, and like the repair West were very rough. That, that's not coming out of our money. That's coming out of the, you know what I mean? That's the group of us. It's not. So are we going to, you guys want to schedule another meeting or? Yeah. I say we meet in a week and finish this. Beautiful. So next, right. next Wednesday? So, but that sucks because Wednesdays I can't get out till six o'clock anymore. Wow. All right. So, what day is good for you? Tuesdays yeah. I have off. Thursdays. I'm, I don't have a meeting next Thursday. I have on this one, so it's good for me. So, Thursday. Uh, no. Yeah. No, because Thursday I work till six too. So it's either Friday the thirteenth. I work till five. Woo Tuesdays I have off. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember the. Other. And Mondays. I mean, we can always do six thirty too, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine yeah, too. yeah. Nobody mind six thirty. I can be right. Six thirty is easier for me. Seven. Are you meeting next month? When are you guys meeting? Next week. No. No. So okay. next week we have it at six thirty. All right. Sounds All right. good. Um, six thirty here. Next uh, six thirty so here. The eleventh. Do we want to help Heather put an agenda together, or? Um, I will warn it, and basically the agenda will be just to. Review, review, and, and let the world know that we're wrapping up this first round of Meeting money. Meeting adjourned right. 7 o'clock.